Good afternoon, Dave here. I got my chain hoist up. It, uh, it's pretty nice. Put my little uh, dog legs, you know, the supports up there. I put a couple extra I wasn't going to do, but better safe than sorry. Overdo everything. So now I got a I beam up here rated for four tons with a, a trolley rated for two tons and a, a ton and a half chain hoist on here. This is an old one, came out of a machine shop here in beautiful Stockton. You know, I looked at it and uh, trying to figure out what it said. I thought it said Gap. City, but you know what? <laughs> it's capacity, capacity one and a half tons, and that's funny. There's nothing else on it. But I got it up, and, and I'm gonna tell you, this is one smooth chain hose, smooth operator. It's oh, let's see if the man can get down the steps here. This is a uh, you know I think what happened is they used heavy grease on it because it is and the weird thing about this you can. I never noticed this about these type of uh, chain falls, but you can pull on any chain. Any one of the, the four that's hanging down, two will pick it up, two will take it down, and you can, uh, it doesn't matter which one you do, I guess because it's a differential on a chain falls. Differential. As far as chain always goes, I don't know what that means, differential. But uh, it's up. I I got. I tell you what I did is is uh I'm bolting this up. I'm not welding it in because it, it is kind of heavy. And then if if it's too heavy going down the road, well it's coming out. So I didn't weld it. I bolted it, and I bolted it with uh, three eighths bolts. <laughs> now that might seem a little light. And, and when you in use, uh, probably wouldn't need a little more, but uh, I picked this up hanging off of those 3 8 bolts, and literally, I think one would support it. Now, the beam only weighs about 340 pounds, and, uh, which is, you know, that's pretty heavy, at, at least for having it so high up in the air. But what I did was, uh, I actually added more, I drilled some holes in, in the top of the I-beam and, and uh, uh, I got a dozen uh, past the, the ceiling. On this side of the ceiling I got six and if you go on that side all the way down I got a 12. And what I did was I went and got a grade eight. So now I'm 110% I'm, uh, sure that this well, there, it, it's not going to fail. In in my uh, experience in the industry all my life, we had uh, now these bolts were flat heads, which I, I think is a grade two, which is the lightest bolt you can get for steel, you know, galvanized and and. Uh, but mo mostly we used uh, grade five. I think that was pretty much uh, for the type of stuff that I did. Most of the bolts they. The order either either grade five um, or stainless use a lot of stainless but uh, and and I I'll tell you I I have in my experience I've seen grade five bolts fail you know we probably overstressed them but uh, I've never seen a grade eight we've never in in my experience in the uh, type of work I did the 
The heavy stuff that we picked up, we've never, never had a grade eight fail. Didn't use that many, but <laughs> the ones we did, they held. So, so I put a, a dozen grade eights up there, and uh, and I'm still gonna put some more. I'll show you this. Uh, my friend of mine came over and said, "You might not want to do that." Good cause a tripping hazard. I'm, I'm sure it could. That's what I did. I made my own uh, flat washers. They're big, uh, they like quarter inch. And uh, and I guess they could cause a tripping hazard, but it's like I told him, once I get this thing all put together and we're up here, uh, raising hell in the Sky Lounge, if somebody trips on that and falls, they're going to flop on the deck like a sack of wet cement and uh, wouldn't be any more than, you're not going to fall no farther. And where you're standing, so uh, I figure we're all right. These are just carriage bolts. I don't know if they make a grade eight carriage bolt. If they did, I'd change them out to grade eight carriage bolts because I know these will support them and, and the beam, the weight of the beam. And I figure the most I'll ever pick up, I think the heaviest piece of equipment I have weighs about 800 pounds. So, hey, I just uh, don't want any failures uh, at the show with the families. And uh, everybody goes home safe. Well, just thought I'd share that with you. You guys have a good time. Talk to you later. Bye.